I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy-teachable.com. Today we're going to be looking at human impact on natural resource. When we actually decided to make a thumbnail for this video, this picture grabbed our attention. There is so much being said with this picture without even using a word. We are seeing the organism here clutching to its young while its habitat, its home, its food, family, its friends, competition, the entire niche is being destroyed by fire. How much more can these organisms take? Before human understand that this earth does not only belong to human. The pictures tells the story, pollution of our water bodies, organisms being trapped in the remains of human, deforestation evident the slash and burn endangering organisms the clearing of forest land leaving soil bare pollution from industries carbon monoxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrous oxides and it continues and of course, we're seeing industrialization with our motor vehicles and, of course, the pollutant being given off there from the exhaust pipe. All of which tells a graphic story of the impact of human activities on our natural resources. The story does not end there. The story features mining, leaving the soil bare, and making room for suspended particulates in the air. We're seeing mining taking place there, and that goes without saying we are destroying habitat, and again, we are causing suspended particulates to be in the air, thus causing respiratory ailments like asthma, bronchitis, and the list continues. We're seeing trawling taking place there, and that is pretty much damaging or pretty much depleting our fish stock at an alarming rate. It doesn't stop there, but we observe as well that as we modernize and fish vessels become larger, so too the fish stock becomes smaller. There is a direct correlation. The world's population is one to look at as the world population continue to drive the problem that we face with the environment. People must be fed. And as such, there are places that people will need to live. And while we do that, we are sending other organisms into extinction and, of course, on the edge. I do hope that. Having completed this lesson, we'll have a greater appreciation for our need to take care of the environment. The need for human to practice a more sustainable approach to the environment dates to the period of the nomads. That's a period when we hunted and gathered and we just wanted a piece of jewelry. And that could have meant the death of an organism to get that coveted feather or the toss of an elephant. Does it stop there? No. These individuals negatively affected wildlife and natural vegetation as they hunted and caught fire in the forest. Can you imagine a fire being caught in the forest with no firefighters to stop it? We would have lost a whole lot of organisms before this blaze ended. However, with the advent of modern technology, it made the nomads look like a full stop to the storybook. 
the modern technology and the exploding population, these negative impact of human activity have blossomed into major environmental concerns. And these concerns, now we can categorize them as both renewable and non-renewable resources that are being depleted at pretty much an alarming rate. So our impact is felt by both renewable resources and non-renewable resources. We are in all facets of life causing havoc. Look there, we're seeing an oil rig, and we've never heard of oil without pollution. In a matter of fact, there is no production without pollution. Our lobsters and other protected organisms are disappearing from our planet at a very fast pace. How much longer will we wait to correct these problems? Non-renewable resources refer to resources that are available in a finite amount and cannot be replaced anytime soon. The rate of which human is using these resources will cause them to run out in short order. The major group of such resources lies with energy, and from energy, we're seeing the depletion of fossil fuel. And fossil fuel is pretty much one of those great sources of pollution, as it were, for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and the list continues. With fossil fuel, we are concerned with crude oil, natural gas, coal, radioactive fuel. Minerals are also being depleted. Iron ore, aluminum, copper, tin, all of which are used to make human life, they say, better. And it continues there with mining and energy, the extraction of fossil fuel from a pilot oil rig, and we're seeing mining there taking place. And of course, once you see mining, you're thinking about suspended particles. The impact, as it were, on renewable resources. Now, renewable resources refer to a type of resource that can be replaced quickly when compared to non-renewable resources. However, plants like animals are overexploited to meet human needs and the rest affected by human actions. This has led to extinction, protected zones, and organisms. If we do not do that, we'll be living on the hurt all alone now. So we're seeing organisms here that are affected by human action. All these are renewable resources. However, they too are going at an alarming fast rate. Our crocodile in some areas, the turtle in the sea, the conch, the forest, the elephant, all of which are affected because of our selfish desires. It doesn't stop there. Let's look at the marine. Renewable resource, the marine and its organisms. Marine environments are negatively impacted by human action. Aquatic lives are affected by this pollution. This has led to the death of many marine organisms. It has also forced migration and led to high nutrient buildup in many water bodies. You're never going to be seeing a nutrient buildup in water bodies without eutrophication. And wherever there is eutrophication, there's also going to be a death of more organisms as the dissolved oxygen in the water is all used up and depleted, causing the death of other aquatic organisms. There is also overfishing, which has depleted the fish stock. Stock in the sea is pretty much disappearing. 
All this is to meet human food need and the greed for wealth. Some organisms that are affected, lobsters, whales, turtles, conch, and the list continues. Now, these are pictures from our marine environment, and they tell the gripping story of human impact on the marine ecosystem. Our forests, <laughs> look at Haiti, and the story is well told. The forest serves as habitat, nesting space, food reservoir, perch site, and plays a major role in the water cycle. The forest also helps to regulate the carbon cycle. Our forests are now being cut down, deforestation, at an alarming fast rate for housing, roads, agriculture, and raw material for industries. This has led to habitat loss, loss of biodiversity, increase in atmospheric carbon, soil erosion, eutrophication, disruption of water cycle. And the list does not stop there. It goes on where it re it's reaching closer to home that now even human themselves are being affected by their own action. anthropogenic impact. Renewable resources. Soil forms a medium on which all organisms live and grow. The cutting down or deforestation of trees exposes the soil to erosion. Unsustainable agricultural practices also worsen the problem. Such practices include lack of soil conservation measures, no drain, no terracing, no mulching. All those are leading to major problems in agriculture. Overuse of fertilizers. This is pretty much causing our water bodies to be, to, to be having this high nutrient level as a result of fertilizer seeping into the soil and into our water channels. Our aquifers are also being affected by fertilizer and the high nutrient content. Slash and burn is destroying our forests, destroying organisms, and we're seeing a whole mass loss of biodiversity, or might I say, species. These lead to soil degradation and reduce yield, death of soil organisms, heavily silted river, and the list goes on and on. Here we're seeing a soil that is affected by a condition called soil crusting, usually affecting clay soil. But here we're seeing the bare soil being exposed to the elements of the weather, and of course water would have been removed from the soil, leaving it in the state that we're seeing. That takes us to the end of human impact on the natural resources. It does not stop there, but for the CXC syllabus, that's what we'll cover today. Thanks much for watching. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us on YouTube at CSEC Biology TCP, or you can visit our website at TCP Academy. .com. Please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe if you like this content. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com 
is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.